lion roar, let the lion roar, let the lion roar. What I saw in the spirit was the lion walk up to me, the lion of Judah. And he roared right in my face. But what got my attention is it blew my hair back. And in this little vision he just gave me, I had long hair that was blowing back. And I asked the Lord, are we going to get a miracle of restoration this morning? And he said, no, this is what I'm doing for Shiloh. Because in the Bible, as you know, hair represents many things. It represents strength. And it represents honor. And it represents glory. Hair represents strength with Samson. God declares that hair uh, uh, has to do with honor with men. And of course, hair is the glory of women. So this is what I believe he's saying was this morning. Even as we're getting ready to come into a new year, a new season, as we're coming ready to come into a season that will include some warfare and some territory taking and some glorious and epic opportunities, the Lion of Judah, he who roars with triumph, wants to roar over each of you here this morning and every one of our Shiloh family online. And as we go back into this song and we sing it one more time, I invite you to let Holy Spirit to lead you into an encounter with the Lion of Judah because he is roaring in this place. He's roaring over you. And as he does, he's releasing fresh strength. He's releasing fresh honor. He's releasing fresh glory. He is releasing triumph in the areas where there has been resistance, delay, and hindrance. But this morning, he reminds you that he roars over you in victory, that he is the God who leads you in triumph, even in the most difficult areas, and he's releasing to you strength and honor and glory for the new season you and Shiloh are coming into. Ready for more? Go to roberthodgkin.com for more teachings, more resources, and more information about Robert Hodgkin Ministries and men on the front lines.